continues to gain momentum. Governor Spencer Cox says the state is on pace to get um, lift all health restrictions by July and Utah has administered 1,232,991 doses of the vaccine. Well, now you can make that 1,232,393 because you just saw Governor Cox and First Lady Abby Cox receiving their first shots of the Pfizer vaccine this morning in Spanish Fork. It's a landmark moment in the state's fight against COVID. Of course, the governor and the first lady have had the opportunity to get vaccinated since December, but he says they wanted to wait their turn. We wanted to do it the right way, and we wanted to make sure that we weren't uh, getting ahead of in the line of anybody else because in, in Utah, we made the determination it was the right one to focus on our most vulnerable first. Lieutenant Governor Deidre Henderson said that strategy is working. Those who are 65 years or older, 80% um, of them have received at least one dose. 80% of 65 plus have received at least one dose and 57% of them have been fully vaccinated. On Wednesday, Governor Cox signed the so-called end game bill, which will remove the statewide mask mandate on April 10th. Some states like Texas and Colorado and some European countries have seen surges in case numbers after relaxing their restrictions. Europe has tended to be a little bit of a leading indicator for the United States when it comes to um, surges. And they're, they're seeing, they've seen plateaus in many, in many countries and uh, they've seen increased cases with some of the variants. But, but there is something very different this time, and that is that, that our rate of vaccination is so much higher than theirs. And um, even if we do see an increase in cases, the fact that we have vaccinated so many of our most at-risk population um, makes us even less vulnerable to the, the outcomes. We're used to coronaviruses. That, that's not a problem. The problem is if it puts you in the hospital and kills you and, and does that at, at, at an excessive rate. That's the problem we're dealing with. So, um, so, so driving those numbers down, that's really what we've been focused on. Governor Cox also announced a new plan from the Federal Emergency Management Agency to pay the funeral expenses for COVID-19 victims. To learn more about that, check out the link that we have added to this story on abc4.com.